I want to play some Arcade Paradise. This is a game I don't know that much about other than... Um, you're, you're running a laundromat and then there's an arcade. I guess. <laughs> and... And yeah, I want to, so I want to, I want to check this out. Let's get this going. Arcade Paradise is, you know, 18 bucks right now on Steam. Let's try and capture this video game and then Go over here. This is the price we pay for uh, me installing the OBS beta that that breaks the the stream the stream deck integration. Uh, so I've not played this at all. Invert Y axis. Oh, yeah, I guess it does have controller support here, huh? That's exactly how all my dreams look. There's a beta Stream Deck plugin. Cool. I'll take a look. I figured that, yeah, I don't know. There would be some kind of update here. Pizza King. This is a really cool intro. That's not the Pizza King. Good reflections on this glass. This is a really nice looking laundromat. Hello, Ashley. This is your father calling. Welcome at long last to the real world and real responsibility. King Laundry was among my first investments in Grindstone. Not an important one. Honestly, I'd forgotten about the dump. But with shrewd management, perhaps even an ungrateful and Teenager like you can make it a success. Fuck you, Dad. I'm burnt your laundromat to the ground. Let's go over the basics one more time. Pay attention. First, take a basket of laundry and load it into an empty machine. Remember, time stood idle is time wasted. Maintenance and cleaning are your responsibility. Any trash, pick it up and dispose of it. That's not how laundromats work. The side of the you don't do the laundry. Other people come in and do their laundry, and you stand there and make change for them and make sure that the machines work and, you know, or, or don't. Make sure that soap is available. I 
f I feel like I'm already like fundamentally against the premise because of uh because of that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh dumpster. Yeah. My father sucks. Wait a minute, hang on. It's just fucking candy cabs in the back of this laundromat. Dad. Do I just need to go as fast as possible or oh, find the sweet spot? Okay, I see. That's great. This is, I love this style. That's very silly. Yeah, whatever, man. Fuck you, Dad. This controls uh, reasonably well. You know, you're using the analog stick to, I guess, the D pad, or, you know, to move around, and then the A button juts your. Oh, man. Like, shoots it forward to kind of. Ah, hmm. Yay. Oh, did it start another one? No. I'm, whoa. Okay. Oh, hello. It's a really good looking hand. All right, I didn't. I didn't. Didn't necessarily mean to start a new game. Oh, there we go. Y button will exit. A new chat message. This fucking soundtrack. is amazing. <laughs>
I mean, I guess, okay, we'll look at the, listen to the music and look at the apparent era of this computer. It's like vaguely like a funk dubious. Machines have hopper. Here, here we go. There we go. It's just hard to highlight it. Put the money in the safe. Whatever. These arcade machines are in the back. Dad doesn't even know they're there. This is fucking my money now. This is... This thing's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, what if? How about fuck dad? We're just going to do it. Hmm. Well, I guess stack overflow is the only one we can get. Wait, no, strike gold. Wood Guy Jr. swaps his trusty hatchet for a pickaxe in this downward mining adventure. Collect gold, buy upgrades. Keep the boss happy in this satisfying puzzle game about against stacking boxes. Hmm. Hmm. Popularity 140. How do I go back? Or I go back and oh, it's right mouse button. Okay. 160. Well. 1993. Okay. Nice of them to put a date on it. Okay, I guess I can. Open from 8 to 11. You can check time. Okay, well. Oh, what? Hey. Wah! Fuck. 
fucking tripping. This game's fucking crazy. I guess, you know, is that is this just an effect for like, hey, you can walk anywhere, even if there's like people there, we didn't want to block your path or whatever. Or is this or is there some kind of weird meta story happening? Well, I guess I got some time. So this is just Pac-Man with cars, huh? <laughs> Excellent fucking deployment of GTA font. Uh-oh. Fuck the cops. Yeah, this is a, this is an extremely cute fucking thing. This entire game so far, I I'm really impressed. Uh oh, okay, now oh, we got it. Can I get over in time? No, I'm not gonna be able to. use the boost while I'm the tank I get oh jeez well oh wow oh wow that's neat it's like the speed rumbler ah damn it all right got my radio got my boom box oh man One life, huh? I just want to hang out in the back where the music's better. Oh, wait, I have to do laundry? Shit. This is a bad laundromat. I've never been to a laundromat where they had people that did the laundry for you. Not 100% sure how I feel about having to do the safe mini game every time I want to deposit money. It's kind of, you know, it's extremely cute. The stuff done yet? No. Okay. What's up? Oh, I can't even throw it until it's full. I see. Okay. 
Like, well, I could always empty that out until... Is the toilet bad? What? No, toilet good. Okay. Well. No, no. So I, I'm trying to pick up garbage. Why are there particles in the air? I don't know. It's like a, it's like a dusty, you know, it's still a dusty old place, right? So, uh, you guys want to buy some weed or what? You know, I'm just like, I'm not, I'm just, you know. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. Yeah, is there yeah, is there some kind of horror twist to this eventually where it's like, "Oh no, none of them were people. You're just fucking crazy because the video games made you Hello, Ashley. This is your father calling. Fuck off. Welcome at long last to the real world and real responsibility. King Laundry was a It's a long road to the goal, it's a whole Remember, time stood idle is time to At the end of the wash cycle Okay yeah, there's, there's a crosshair setting it. Yeah, that, that's yeah. That seems like a must. Also, for as much as it's like uh, you know an arcade game, and you're gonna want to use a controller for all that sort of stuff, like this part of the game itself, I don't know uh, that I'm necessarily loving with a controller. Seems like mouse and keyboard would be uh, a bit better here. Oh, that one's still going. Okay, uh, then what else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, turn on that. Okay. Not here. Here? Sprint mode? Wait. Oh, that's a weird... I don't know how to sprint. Have to unlock the ability to run. Again, th there's something about the premise of this game of me working the laundromat and also having to do the laundry that I'm finding very uh it's just not how it works 
Why are these people even using the token machine or getting money at all if I'm the one over here doing this? You know what I mean? $17.52 in that machine. That doesn't make any sense. I can't go. There's no... Nothing in the drink machines. Let's put this in the safe, I guess. That one's still going. I guess we would get a notification if the toilet needed servicing, right? Okay, does that mean I can just hang out and... Wait, what? Okay, if I... what's wrong with passing out? So does that mean I get no money for this laundry because it finished after 11? Okay. $30 a load also is pretty fucking... I mean, I guess, you know, hey, if you're taking it somewhere and they're going to wash it, then maybe you pay 30 bucks, pay by the pound or whatever, as opposed to getting quarters and putting them... There's something about the economy of, of how this, this aspect of the game works that is just not how a laundromat is. I mean, who cares? But except for me, I... Except, except that I care. Damn it. Well, I'll go try out this other game. Man, the early 90s were a weird time for arcade games. not need to use the word doggo here. We did not need to include the word doggo in your 1993 video game. I should probably go deal with that. Uh... Yeah, see, I took too long. else I need to do in here to, I guess I guess I'll just uh, go to the safe and place up nah that's the thing laundromat's supposed to be 24 hours and you know you know what i mean maintenance income
Yep. That's how all my cabinets got delivered. Move a machine, okay, and then pick where you want to place it. Some unique machines can't be moved. Oh, so there's like a... So there's value in putting them... Balancing the popularity, huh? How is there already laundry here when this, the place just opened? Where did all this trash come from? How does this happen? Who's coming in here overnight? Bodacious. Bodacious. Another thing everyone was saying in 1993. Hello, sir. Twitter. Hey, uh, Le uh, if you people are real, could you... Not try not to leave a bunch of trash. Rangers. I was like, what is this? What does the fake Raiders jacket look like? All right. We'll play some of that later, I guess. I got work to do. Full. Radical. Radical. Can't use the couch, huh? Okay. to do here right now. Good looking. This is uh this is what you wore because it's laundry day, huh? This was what's left. This would be what's first as far as I'm concerned. This would be like I gotta get my tracksuit washed. Another quality look. That one's still going. Oh, no, this is another good... I mean, they're shiny like trash bags, and I like that. Oh, speaking of trash. Oh. Uh. It's interesting that you don't have to, like, actually take the, the trash out. Sup? Sup? See, to me, this is more like a vaguely like uh, late 90s, early 2000s kind of look. This is a Hot Topic, Mr. Rags kind of look.
I believe they are. Yeah, they are selling the soundtrack to this game on Steam. I'm going to have to give that a listen. Uh, uh, what? Sonic what? Sonic Young. That's good. My favorite band, Sonic Young. I mean, I guess I only really need to empty the machines once a day, if you think about it. Sonic Young. I like the idea that this is this guy's laundry day outfit. You guys want to play some arcade games? It's kind of the whole thing. All right, well. It's already one o'clock. This is still going. Those are still going. Let's go make sure we buy another arcade machine. For tomorrow. Let's get strike gold up in here. Oh, I don't have the money. Oh, I only have 431. Okay, we got to we got to get out there. Okay, the the dryer, the getting this laundry turned in will give us the almost all the funds we need to make it happen. You guys just, uh, I'm just gonna r r walk in and, okay. You know, there's no one in here you could, oh. Ah! Quality look. I feel like I should be able to go empty the trash whenever you know, like, because there's there's definitely, like, just enough idle time. You know what I mean? Where it's like, oh, I well, I don't want to pick up one more and then have, have that be... Uh, have that be when I need to take it out. But then there's, like, you know, all the laundry machines are popping off and all that other stuff, so... Oh... Okay. Hello, Emmett. Hi. How's it going over there? What are you doing? Hanging out? You get going. All right. Okay. Uh, now let's go. Nope. Still don't have enough money. I got a deposit. I got. Oh. There's an upgrade to yeah okay an upgrade to get rid of the safe mini game that makes sense like yeah I guess once once there starts being interesting upgrades and if they have you sidestepping a lot of that stuff that's kind of cool. Four hundred nine. I just okay. Let's go. I guess we don't we you know it's not gonna show up till tomorrow. We've got all the time left in the rest of the day here to to get this money. Let's go get, let's go take one more run out here. Also, I feel like I should get a notification when there's new laundry. Like you only get it when
Okay. Make sure this is the only one we can buy. Strike gold. Okay. Ship it. Let's go. I want to get S ranks on all this laundry. Because then I can spend that money to get more arcade machines. Oh. Wait, you make money for playing the games? Is that so? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Wait, what am I doing? to do. Never going to get to play a full game of Stack Overflow at this point. Anything done over here? This... Okay. Cash it in. Oh man, that's been sitting there forever. Damn. Ten bucks. The fuck am I gonna do with ten bucks? You still good, toilet? Yeah, I'm still good. Alright, cool. Okay, nosebleed interactive shirt for the developer there. Fake Kid Rock is pretty good. Or like, yeah, like there's a little bit of Beck in there too. You're right, yeah. I feel like I want like a little bit more action outside of the video game the games. Is that weird? What time's it? Alright. That's right. Thank you. 
this still the same game I had going before? Did it like save my progress? That'd be kind of weird, but actually like a really nice, convenient sort of thing. Uh, 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 there. Thanks, bra. Kind of a weird thing to be in a... Alright, okay. Let's get over here. Yes, this is the thing. What kind of laundromat has people do clothes for you? That's like a you go to a dry cleaner or something. You go to a laundry. So it's like a totally different thing. Like, why have these machines out and why have a token machine if I'm the one doing the laundry? These people don't need to have quarters. That's like a terrible. It's a terrible thing for having an arcade. Like, why would you have an arcade? Because, you know, like you because people have to get quarters to use the machines. Like, these are clearly meant to be self-serve machines because if you were always just having an employee do the laundry, you wouldn't have these on the machines. You know? Oh, interesting. Uh, oh, oh, and they don't move either. That's... Oh, but they all tick down when something... Okay, all right, okay. Thanks, bra. That game doesn't look like it's actually continuing and saving my progress. It is saving? Okay. Huh. Okay. I guess they don't really generate a lot of trash during the day, huh? It's just sort of morning. Okay, it says I have two red stars. Okay. But I need three. I wish I could move pieces while other pieces are breaking down for like crazier combos. That's a, like a zookeeper. Zookeeper the puzzle game thing. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, wow, I can look around. That's weird. Seems like there should have been some kind of sound effect for that bridge being rebuilt. Uh, all right, how about that? And what do we got? We got that. My yummo meter. Oh gosh. There we go. Mm -hmm. No, nope, that's not going to do it. Oh boy.
Okay, all right. I like that there's just kind of an inherent language to games like this that you you if you've played enough of them you look at it and you go like okay no I know like I know exactly what this type of power up will probably do. Cool. Uh, let's go get back to work here. Oh, come on. How much is this game? This game is 18 bucks on, on Steam right now as part of its like launch. Okay, that's it for laundry. So I guess we can go deposit this money in the safe. Oh, what can I not? Uh, so when it's just closed, closed, I guess I can't really do much of anything then, huh? That's annoying. Well, guess I'm leaving with uh, 138 bucks because I couldn't be bothered to open the safe. Why don't I just pocket that money? Sorry, Dad. Didn't make a lot of money today, Dad. Yeah, I guess we gotta put it there, huh? A chat, huh? Okay, what now? Okay, that's right, we gotta go back to the... Let's get this load going. Let's get over here and... Go see what this chat message is. Gerald King Goldman. Dude, my dad sucks. Oh, hey, Carnage. Hey, how's it going? Beat the next level on Apple Crushing Game. Yeah, yeah. all right. Fuck you, Dad. How about I? How about I burn your fucking laundromat to the ground? This is a really dumb song. I can't actually back out of the safe minigame once I started, huh? These songs are uh, probably a lot better through this filter of playing the game than they would be listening to them separately, but I bet there are some that are at least funny on their own. Discount on contractors and permits. All right. Prove to him there's more to this life than misery, grind, and money. I need a grand? Okay.
Oh, sorry. Is there a sound option that lets you just have the radio keep playing everywhere? Because I would... Have, that's my strong preference. Oh, this is done? Okay. Oh, you get a jukebox? Okay. Yeah. I don't know that I, you know, I don't know that I necessarily need them in better quality. I think I just want them in more parts of the laundromat. Oh, bag full. Bag full. Boom. Laundry up. Yeah, I don't know. I think, uh, you know, the, the, there's a delicate balance when it comes to, like, making, you know, this type of, like, business simmy kind of thing and also making it a little jokey along the way. Where you, like, it needs to be, like, these tasks need to be menial. Because that's, you know, the, the joke needs to be, ha, like, it benefits from a little bit of that. But at the same time, you need to make the game fun. I, I, I'm really liking this. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. This is awesome. Oh, bag full. Bag full. Excellent. Excellent. At least dad gives me 20 bucks for taking out the trash. Toilet good. I feel like at any point I should not be able to like reset, you know, the clock on the toilet, right? Like the, oh, hey, speaking of clocks, it actually, if that's an accurate timer, that's interesting to be able to see. Who's bringing in full pizzas to a fucking laundromat? Good out here? You need water? You, you got, we good? Get 90 cents out of this thing? Which is also weird because people would be putting ones and fives into this and not 90 cents. Like, if anything, the maintenance should be pulling out dollar bills and refilling it with quarters. Like, I should have to circulate quarters around to the different... the different things, right? Okay, so it looks like it's three minutes. Do these have timers? Yeah, they do. Look. Holy shit. Pull off this game. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, let's get this in. Yeah, I heard there was an upgrade that makes the day go more slowly. That's, uh... Okay, yeah, so... There's tag... Oh, this is... Okay, this is... Oh, here we go. It's Mr. Driller, huh? The 
This works out because, as it turns out, Mr. Driller is a fantastic video game. But this guy is not the son of Dig Dug, and so he is inherently less interesting. Boy, they really just made Mr. Driller, didn't they? Well, I guess with the upgrade system with this gold thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I fucked up just like Mr. Driller. Oh, wait, one life. Rough. I think... I don't know. It's it's kind of genius. Like, on one hand, I w I'm like, you know what? Having a persistent upgrade system in an arcade machine seems fucking busted. What is this? Gauntlet Legends? Give me a fucking break. But just in terms of convenience and, and adding some additional depth to these games, it's probably the right the right actual answer. Uh, you guys good? What's up? You just, you're just here. You were here yesterday. You just got a lot of laundry to do, huh? Are you dealing? What are you dealing? Ghost man? All right, let's go. What do we got on this? 37 seconds. That one's almost done too, so we've, we've got a little bit of time here, but not enough to maybe go, let's, you know, we'll go deposit. Yeah, I think I just want the to be able to hear the music all the time. And not necessarily, I don't necessarily need the little music for the safe mini game. And it's a good, bad Cypress Hill. Psycho Beta Buckdown. Okay. How's this going? Okay, we got nothing but time. So I saw that like when I when I completed a game in the the air hockey table, it said like goal complete. So I don't know if there's like then like per cabinet achievements that I'm doing as well. Arcade management on the phone. You can see goals for each game. Okay. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, shit. Oh, all right. I don't know how I lived through that, but I'll take it. Oh, yeah, didn't make it through that, though. But oh, we have enough gold for an upgrade. Uh, extra speed. Definitely. seconds. Got a new load. What's going on here? It's a cool hat. Did you know the bucket hats were back? I mean, you, well. 
No trash in the bathroom. But yeah, I, there should be like a maintenance. Like if I do the toilet mini game early, then then the toilet, you know, it, it stays fine longer or what, you know, whatever the. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, uh, let's see what the uh, arcade management. Oh, machine. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Dip switch style stuff. Goal bonus. Fame bonus. Okay. For each goal you complete. Oh, goals. Complete all three levels. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm already in Racer Chaser. I was like, wait, why? What, which game is this for? But yeah, okay. Complete the first day in less than 27 seconds. Purchase all upgrades, destroy blocks, dig down to 500 meters, pick up 333 gold. Play five rounds, score three own goals. I think I can do that. Let's wait the 20 seconds to uh, get this laundry done, and then we'll go play some air hockey. Is there even anything in this machine, dude? Like, what are you looking... There's like one fucking bag of chips in there. Either buy it or don't. These people are too fucking high. in this late at night with their laundry. Come on. I, mean, I guess the fastest way to play those rounds is to lose on purpose, right? Right? Because that's... Getting this done. Oh. Problem solved. Goals completed. Everyone comes in late. After work, getting their laundry done. Forty eight seconds here, that one just went in. That one's almost done. Eight o'clock. Got a couple more hours here. I screwed this up, didn't I? 
I appreciate the little symbols on the sides of the uh, boxes from a color blindness perspective. That is a game changer. Because those plus sign ones and the smiley face ones look very similar in color to me. All right, we got to go do some laundry. Come on. Got a minute. Got under a minute there for that. I guess I'll just go and get this money in the safe. Hand out of the way. sure how I'm gonna love uh, the, the like the the way this game has this idea of popularity for games and difficulty toggles and that sort of stuff when it comes to optimizing how much money you're making like that figuring out that puzzle when games try to do stuff like that is, is usually not usually not my thing okay we have nine gold Jump two blocks instead of one is pretty crazy. All right, uh, an extra life, extra oxygen. Oh, I should be able to dig up. What the fuck's up with that? This is about how I do it, Mr. Driller, too. enough gold for an upgrade next time. I should probably go handle that laundry. Is 
Is the stream not running? There's people saying it. Hmm. Didn't see anything on this end. Seems like it's going. Uh, 14 gold. I'm going to go with uh, extra life because I keep fucking that up. Okay. Five dollars. See, like, that's that's the... Like, do I need to... Optimize in favor of, like, getting the laundry done? Like, what's the best money maker? Like, not to just, like, optimize the shit out of this thing, but... uh, But I'm definitely, like, there's a... Oh, what? Really? Two seconds left on this laundry. You're not going to let me... All right, well. I guess that sits in there until tomorrow. Takes a special type of dirt bag to leave their laundry uh, at the laundromat overnight. Thursday. I figure I'll probably get a lot for this, right? This is like S rank laundry right here. All right, let's get all the garbage. Where's this come from? When I leave at night, it's not like this. I guess that's what, you know, like it's honestly, it's my fault for not locking up. Clearly, people are coming in here overnight and trashing the place. Amazing. Also, I guess, you know, by, by the way that they use the term WC instead of, you know, restroom or, or whatever. Is this how laundromats are overseas in the United Kingdom or, or wherever, you know, wherever this game was made? Is this the you? Or yeah, I guess this could be Canada, huh? Um... Where the person working there does the laundry for you? Because that's th that still seems like the craziest thing happening in this game. You know, the the very idea that you are doing these people's laundry, but it is all set up like coin op laundry. You know, this is a full on laundromat. All right, anything else in here? Oops, oops, no. Trying to pick up trash, sorry. Uh. Uh, come on now. Oh, boy. No! Here we go. 
Put it in over here. Any more trash? I think we're okay. For now. Must keep digging. No, no, no! Yeah, well. That's why I paid for that extra life. Because I know that I'm often overzealous in a game of Mr. Driller. I just want to keep digging. I don't want to stop for nothing. All right, I guess we've got all the easy and cheap upgrades. All right. Laundry is going. We've got a little bit of time there. I feel like there's bound to be some more gum around here. All right. So I'm going to try and get all the upgrades since that's one of the goals for this game. It looks like the goals, once you complete the goals, your machine earns more money. If I was paying attention properly. <laughs> You know, as Mr. Driller uh, homages go, this is not bad. Again, I feel like I should be able to... Well, wait. Yeah, okay. I could I could drill up there. Why wouldn't... Hmm, that seemed like that didn't happen last time I was trying to do it, but... Oh, I missed that gold. I guess, yeah, when, it, when it's teetering, I can't dig up. I thought you could do that in Mr. Driller, though. Anyway. Okay. Sorry, I was busy in the back. Gonna get 
done so perfectly. It's a thirty dollar load of laundry right there. It's a thirty dollar bill all day long. You guys, uh, just ghosting out. All right, cool. Okay, so we need a thousand dollars in order to expand the arcade. And then once that's done, we can probably, you know, start saving up for even more machines, I assume. All right, we got enough time here. Let's go deposit in the safe and just see how much money we have here. Okay, we're getting there. You guys, um, you look a little jittery. Ah! I don't think there's anyone in there, Jeff, if that is your real name. Look at this dick bag. Cool pants, though. This is a good look. This is this look is too good for laundry day. Ah! Are you real? Hello? Ah! ah. It's a weird game. Twelve seconds. <sighs> no running, no pets, no overload. See, it even has like signage for like how to use the machines. I this is just it's, it's just a very confused uh, it, this. The disintegrating customers, that I don't have a problem with. It's it's literally the the core of the premise of why am I doing these people's laundry? that just walking into them would start the encounter. But in retrospect, that makes perfect sense. Talk to this. This guy just said, yo. That's it. That's all he's got to say. Yo. Mm. 
Hmm. This whole, like, proximity thing is... What, that's what Zookeeper does in that situation as well. Yay! level's a pain in the ass. Busy slacking to do this laundry right, I guess. That's what I get. Did it to myself. So what do we got? We got two loads going here. We got one load going there. Okay. Sup. Oh, right, I can see the money here. Oh, wait, I can have dollars and I have pounds. What? What? I this is a strange video game. Okay, we don't really have a to-do list here. We complete a hundred battles. Wow, that's a endless mode. That's kind of cool. Finish the adventure. We completed all those goals. Basic popularity 120. See, does that... Well, I mean, I guess I would want to... set that to hard and see what it does I guess I you know because it's it just it didn't say like hey it didn't necessarily say that'll lead to fewer people playing the game but I would assume that would be the knock-on effect of how that would actually work
Let's get it in the safe. Almost there. It would be nice to get that order in today if it, if it just kind of opens tomorrow. Uh, okay, we got time. Empty. Oh, okay. We're closing. All right. Let's try and make maximum money off of this, this load of laundry here. These couple of loads. And then that'll give us enough to... This is also really funny. Watching the real time tick down on the machines while your watch just goes in crazy time. On my Hoon Lee here. Ah! Okay. Sorry, you know, that's just uh, working in a laundromat type stuff. Sometimes you got to go out there and scream at the sky. Here we go. Wait, what what was it? Oh, 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. We've got a little bit of time here to just get this one delivered and move this other one over and then go. And, uh... Try to place that order before 2 a.m. Five, not five. Ugh. I gotta put this stuff in the safe, too. Okay, we've ordered it. We've listened to this fake kid rock. That's not going to be done in time, is it? Nope. Oh. Uh, what do we want to play? Let's, uh... Go, go. Okay. I need greens, right? To open that? Yeah. I only have one? Alright, well.
No, wrong way. Okay, right there. Yum, take this star. We have two. We need more. No, there's a red one. Okay, here, there, there, how about that one, and then that, that's, I went the wrong, okay, yeah, I could have moved that one more effectively like that, there we go. Um, okay, let's, uh, wait, oh, right, yep, yeah. okay, yep. Okay, that, yeah, uh, that'll work eventually here, right? I do. There, get those. You. Four stars, we need five. You. So those power-ups work the direction you move them in, it'll either clear the row or column. And so if you get them in line with a bunch of these time these these numbered blocks, you can very easily wipe a bunch of them out. So like if I move this up, it'll clear the entire line and now that whole thing's gone. Goal complete. Completed something. Okay, so that should be five, right? Hello? I'll buy it at a high price. so far. Wow, she says.
Uh, let's just do that. Well, eh, that's maybe not the right way to, to use that, but that's okay. If you're having trouble making moves, then you want to move as many pieces as you can to just shake things up. That's my motto. Thank you, stranger. Cupcake break, cake slices, go nuts, donuts. Well, I don't know what that was that I just picked up, but let's fight this weird bat. Hello. Hey. I like the, the fucking pre-fight dialogue. He's like, hey. Um, okay, well. Oh, I can't move that up because there's nothing up to move it up there with. Uh, let's do that. Good, good. Do that. Uh, how about that? A little bit of that. Uh, I don't want to bust those. Yeah, actually, that'll. We do this. Yeah. Okay. Great. Do I? It doesn't matter. It's after 2 a.m. I can't get him anyway. Uh, um. Have moved that power up a different direction and seen if it if it if it powers up through these glass blocks or if it's stopped by those. That's the thing I want to know. Okay, all right. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. There's that. Okay, we got that. Yummy in my tummy, as they say. Come, Lord. Oh, am I like picking up pieces of a star? Is that? Huh. Oh man, hidden. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. Seven of those, huh? And who did I get one of those from the bat when I fought it? I'm, I don't remember. Closed. All right. Well, we'll get that laundry in the morning, I guess.
High Lincoln, Newcastle. Ashley, hello. I approved your proposal to convert the utility room and extend the King Laundry trading area. More space, more washing machines. It's a little obvious, but fine. Hope Go fuck you yourself, prick. Vital role in the community. Okay, guess and what? Your dad's a piece of shit. Reinvestment is a sure path to success. Maybe this is your first step to owning your own business empire. Perhaps someday <laughs> you'll rise to my rank. <laughs> like the idea of there's just a sign saying like, yeah, we got arcade games in the back. More coming soon. Yeah, we got Strike Gold. We got all this shit. I wonder how long I can leave the, that load of laundry in the dryer before something bad happens. Bag full. Let's go. Great. Some S rank garbage thrown right there. Some esports ass garbage tossing. You're not going to see finer garbage throwing on uh, this here website. That's my promise to you. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. Fuck you, dad. I've got mail. Okay. What? Some tips. Did you know? Okay, yeah. You can have the how to play section. Our current top picks are Blockchain and Zombat 2, which seem to be going down a storm. What? Eh. Best to not think about it. Nine hundred bucks for the jukebox. Records not included. Space Race Simulator. Oh, these games look good. Blockchain's a really good name for a fake video game. We have got to get paid. Takes money to make money, lady. Do I change? Oh, this that's not one of them. Ah, yes. $3.28. Let me get... Hang on. Oh, I'm sorry. I like that, that that door is still there. This game seems extremely good. I'm having a really good time with this thing. This is Arcade Paradise, in case you're... You know, uh, just join. This is the PC version. Um, okay, we got some... T oh, wait, hey. Get this load in. Uh, is that full bag? No, that was not full bag. Ah! Okay, so I've got 10 in there and I've got 139 on me. I need at least 700. I think that was the cheapest machine. So. Not ready yet. 
Let's go play a game. No, I, I want to play something different. Thank you. Someone appreciates what I'm what I got going on here. Okay, uh Nope, I am making a mistake, aren't I? Cause I can't just can I? No. Oh, there's an empty one. Never mind. Not the most efficient way to do this, I'm sure. That's okay. It's <laughs> that sounds terrible. It's like, I don't even know what it's trying to... What it's going for. Um, I should... Th think I I think I have I think I have run out of brain juice for this type of problem solving and we're going to go back to the what I understand that's moving laundry around this in. Check the time on this one. Oh, this one is ready to move. Move this one over. Put you right here. Back up and make sure that there's nothing else going on. Okay. All right. That looks good so far. You guys okay? Are you real? No? Oh, what? Ah, ah. Hi. Oh. Okay, get that money in there. I probably should have done this in the reverse order, but you know. Shit happens. I feel like we're on top of it. Oh, wait. Oh. Complete 100 battles is going to take some time. We haven't even unlocked an endless mode. Wait, income per hour goes up if I do that. Okay, let's... Difficulty should make plays per hour go down, you know, go the other way because in some... You know, in, in some ways... Uh, you know what I mean? Because, um, I 
If I raise the price on this, I'll get $8 per hour. Sounds good. All right. Strike Gold, not a super popular machine, looks like. Does this make it harder for me when I play, I wonder? Yeah, and then you'll have to, at some point, think about reorganizing the arcade based on... It'd be nice if it showed you the popularity numbers or something here. So that you could better optimize around that stuff. Minute 24. We've got about a minute here. So this is like, that's the, you know, then it's like when I have a minute, I'm like, I'm going to go play an arcade machine. And then I'm late on all the laundry and I'm missing out on tens of dollars. Can I just mash the A button while turning the, the stick? Is that actually the, the right way to do this? We have 250 bones. Let's just double check the prices on this real quick here. 1135, 900 for the jukebox, 700 is our cheapest game. Seems pretty popular. It's your time in the blockchain. <laughs> Conspiracy, that's pretty funny. Oh, that's, is this just, that's just more messages from my dad being a piece of shit. I keep hearing vaguely, uh, pole position-esque noises. Ten seconds there. This one's ready to move. Well, you know, originally I was like, oh, let's, we'll play a bunch of games and uh, and check out a variety of stuff. And then I played some roller drome and then uh, and then played this and turns out that I just wanted to play this. So this uh, arcade paradise here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. 240 and 36 seconds. All right. Man, look at Zombat 2. Revolutionary twin stick controls. Oh! This just looks this that just looks like pole position. Kinda. Okay, put that over here. Let's get that in. Neo XXX. It's so dumb. It's good. All right, 5 p.m. We're almost at the row. Oh, it's getting it's getting dark already. Man, these days go by fast, huh? Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, uh! Oh, Zombat 1, huh? Zombat in, in vaguely in the Atari 2600 font up here. Introducing Zombat, a new full-color video arcade attraction for the whole family. Nosebleed Interactive, that brought you last year to smash it. What does that say? I can't quite. It's just blurry enough. This is a 
pretty nice little arcade room. I'm I'm impressed for a thousand dollars, you know. Billy, no socks. Thank you for the subscription. I I too am not wearing socks right now, so imagine that. I like the idea of there just being a yeah. We got a poster for a jukebox. You should buy a jukebox. Four seconds. Okay, here we go. This one's ready to move, ready to move, ready to move, ready to move. $1,000 won't even get you a busted cabinet. Stuff starts around 2500 Yeah, it, you know, there's definitely a... And when it comes to getting arcade cabinets these days, I don't even know. No, now that I... Yeah. I, I think there's a certain aspect of if you know people in that scene and all that sort of stuff, they... There's always someone who is looking to unload their cabinets for one reason or another that can be persuaded to do so for decent prices. But, um, you know, if you're just going and looking, on, especially on like eBay or something like that, that's just, it's the prices on cabinets generally seem insane. You know, you can find some decent deals on like a Craigslist or something like that sometimes and, and, Blockchain might be yeah. I, I assume blockchain is a t is a Tetris style game. That would that would make a lot of sense. Just got to get into building your own custom machines. Yeah, yeah. It's not the yeah. I mean, like yes and no. I. So as someone who is like had ar arcade machines and not had arcade machines and had pinball machines and not had pinball machines and stuff like that. I, I think there's just a, I don't put any val I don't, I don't put any real value on the like standing up at a cabinet experience unless it's all the way full on real cabinet. You know what I mean? Like if there's compromises in the form of like, oh, I, well, I mean, technically this is a PC in here and it's just, you know, it's running MAME or, you know, like you can put a mister in an arcade cabinet and that's pretty cool too. Like the games run accurately and all that sort of stuff, but like, it's not the same, right lady? You know what I'm talking about. And you know, that's kind of the hard thing with like monitors and stuff too, because obviously having real CRTs and all that sort of stuff is is only getting harder. Yeah, I can just rotate the I can just rotate the safe and mash the A button to do that. Five hundred dollars, not five hundred quid. Alright, what what time we got? Alright, nine o'clock. The weird international vibe this game gives off is is fascinating too from the like completely weird concept of having to do these people's laundry to it using 24 hour time by default. I don't even know if there's a setting to turn it off to having dollars and pounds um and using the term water closet like it's it's, it's all over the place. Twenty-four hour time makes more sense. I, you know, so we got our first VCR in. I don't know what year it was. 82, 80 whatever. Um, we had a we had a very bulky, gigantic. It was it was one of the first VCRs that truly had a remote control, because before that there would be units that had remote controls, but actually there was a wire leading to them, and so you still make changes from a distance but it was a long ass wire um and so it was one of the first VHS VCRs that had a wireless remote and it told time in military time in 24 hour time 
And so at a very young age, I got exposed to it and just got used to it. But people in the States, generally speaking, you know, maybe it's a little different now than it was, but like, generally speaking, people have no idea what the fuck to do with that when they're faced with it. All right, 1800, what? Like, yeah, six o'clock, what? What? Closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. It's called military time in the States. In Denmark, it's just time. Yeah, no, here we refer to it as, or here it was always referred to as military time. Because there, they were the only ones going like, it's 18 to zero dark 30, or, you know, like all the... Oh, 0400, get up there, maggot. Peel some potatoes. That thing's got a minute 15 on it. I don't know. Well, I gotta say, I want to buy more arcade machines, but so far with my, my spread of machines, I'm having more fun doing the laundry than going back to these games. So, uh, so I'm, I'm very excited about what's next, what the next game is, what's around the corner, all that sort of stuff. Uh, more so than I am playing at those machines. So, I don't know what that, what that says. That says something. That sends some kind of message about the. Uh... Let's get the money from this uh, from this load and try to deposit it all in the bank. Can you sell the machines you already have? I don't know that I can. Maybe that's something that once I fill up all the space, maybe that's something that open unlocks. I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, shoot me a Twitter message with the link to this, the updated Stream Deck plugin, because that'd be nice to have back for, for these, this OBS beta. You know, I, I just like installing beta software because I don't know why, because I'm a, a, a dang fool. I'm going to play some Adaka. I was originally going to play some Adaka, but instead we played this and I'm going to, I'm going to be wrapping it up here pretty soon. So perhaps on Friday, I'll be back on Friday. You know, we'll get to some of the games that uh, I wanted to get to t today, but didn't uh, didn't get to. All right, I'm managing to leave at a decent hour. It's only it's only like 1 a.m. and I got 30 cents on me. Not a bad day's work. I would assume Saturdays would be busier. I don't know if they, I mean, if, if they list the days of the week, I assume that that means that they, well, that's funny. End day, save and quit. What? I don't want to end the day. We're at the start of Saturday. I want to see what a Saturday looks like. We'll go throw a bag of trash and then... Excellent. Yeah, missing out on, on a lot of money here, but uh, for for Saturday, but... Did I use a PDA? No, I never did use a PDA. They were around, but I was too young for PDAs. And so I was in this window of like adults, presumably in business were using PDAs, but I never knew any of them. Um, 
And then by the time I got old enough to get any kind of like businessy technology or whatever the fuck, uh, everyone just had phones. And I had my my T-Mobile sidekick, the the truest form of telephone, the goddamn T-Mobile sidekick. I miss it every day. The iPhone is fun and all, but not fun. It's not fun, fun. I had four, they made four different sidekicks and I'm pretty sure I had all of them. I, I had to buy two, um, I believe sidekick twos because, um, I broke the screen on one. I was at Costco getting a case of soda and I, the, I guess the corner of the box of soda hit the phone in my front pocket and as this is as far as I can tell, but yeah, uh, you forget who made the sidekick. It was the danger hip top danger made the sidekick. And then they eventually sold to Microsoft and they made something called the kin that was absolutely stupid. Um, no one, none of my homies had the kin. God damn it. No, uh, I, I did not know an actual human that owned a kin. Um, and yeah, so anyway, I had to replace it. I had to replace my sidekick with another sidekick, and that was 300 bucks that I really didn't want to spend, but I had to because I needed a phone. The sidekick's great. The sidekick was a great device. You could play, like they put out, they started putting out like Akari Warriors and fucking weird games on it. And uh, yeah, it was... It was but like really shitty fucking ports of it. So, uh, but yeah, no, I, I never, I, I, I think I might have a, a PDF. I, I had a tap wave Zodiac, which were they sent out as like a game, you know, which has that really cool HD version of the GBA version of Tony Hawk Two, that weird isometric, but they did it. They did a version of that game, but up because this thing was so much more powerful than a GBA. And it was also some kind of PDA, but I never used it for anything other than playing Tony Hawk and Solitaire. <laughs> um, and yeah, so so PDAs were kind of on the out. I, I never had a BlackBerry. I never like that. That seemed like it was for old people. It always seemed like it was it was for super old people. I don't know. Um, and the yeah, the Sidekick was rad. And then I traded it in when the iPhone three came out. The first, whatever the first, yeah, the 3G, the iPhone 3G, the first one with a proper app store. That was when I got an iPhone and it's been on ever since. Do I have a Gizmondo? Yeah, I have a, I have a few Gizmondos here. I've got, uh, a big stack of games. I have a lot of sealed copies of Gizmondo and Engage games because no one ever wanted to open them. Um, yeah, the Gizmondo, the Gizmondo is weird because it like a lot of them don't boot up. A lot, a lot of them didn't boot up when we fucking got them from the company. Like they they shipped them to us fucking broken. It was just super weird device. Like it just and and it was always hard to tell. Like, am I using this right? Is this I, how do I launch this game? How do I even get this thing to do anything? Like the the Gizmondo experience is extremely poor, extremely poor. You need a sim to boot them up. So they came with dummy sims. In a lot of cases, uh, the engages did too, but I think I got them to boot without a SIM in there, but yeah, I'll have to go one of these days, one of these days, maybe we'll take a look at, uh, Gizmondo stuff. I've got, I now have two webcams hooked up to this PC. Actually, the, the other one's not plugged in, but for some of the other podcasts and stuff I'm recording, um, where I want to capture video here on OBS, but also talk to people on discord. I need two cams for that. Um, or that's, that's been the easiest way to, to get that to happen. Um, am I archiving those engage games? You know, I do have a, a bunch of, I don't have a way, to, I don't have a way to dump those games. I do have a bunch of like pre-release engage games that I think a lot of those already got dumped, but the dumps going around for engage games are all fucked up. Like they're not, they're cracked. They're weird. I don't think they're proper good dumps. I don't know if anyone is even, spending time working on proper good dumps. If they are, I, I would be happy to get those games to them to, you know, preserve them properly and all that sort of stuff. But last time I looked the end gauge situation was really, really funky. Anyway, um, I'm going to head out. 
Head on over to patreon.com slash Jeff Gerstman. In a little under half an hour, the first episode, the Patreon-exclusive episode of Game Boys to Men will be live. At 1.30 Pacific time today, that will be published, both video and audio. You can check that out. That's Glenn and I. Gosh, it's a little all over the place. You know, we're talking about Nintendo and the, the rise of the NES and, and kind of uh, Sega's initial attempts in the market. And but really talking about 8-bit Nintendo and, and some of their transition to 16-bit, but really about the, the when they started issuing lawsuits, suing Atari over the Tengen uh, uh, you know, games and also the trial with Galoob where they sued Galoob to stop the Game Genie from coming out. And that lawsuit, because Glenn was a part of that lawsuit, he, he testified on Galoob's behalf. So we get into what that was like for a 15-year-old to be being coached by lawyers on how to take the stand as a video game expert. There's some really fun old news clips from that era that we have of Glenn. Uh, I don't know that any old footage of me like that truly exists. But uh, but yeah, there's a, a couple of pretty good clips of Glenn in there. And we talk a lot about th the thing. I, I don't know that I realized going into this that there was going to just be a lot of. Uh, I think we're going to end up unpacking a lot of shit in this thing. <laughs> um, it's it's like revisiting your teens in a in an honest way with Glenn, who was you know the guy who was really there for all of it. Like we did a ton of a ton of really fucking weird shit over the years between starting a band and a public access show, and like we we went places and saw things as teens. You know, the, before I kind of got into you know the respectable end of the video game business, whatever. Uh, no, respectable is something weird. Just I don't know. It was such a different business then, and uh, yeah. So we spent some time. We we reveal the sketch that was too hot for TV, too hot for my parents to see. Um, or but my parents anyway. Yeah, we 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 walk through a a public access sketch that we shot and then never aired. Um, and he found a newspaper article that I don't remember writing. Really. Yeah, I, it, it's uh, yeah, it, it's fascinating. I, I don't, I, I think, I, I don't know that I realized going in that like the, that that talking about the personal end of this was gonna end up being, uh, as personal as it <laughs> will end up being. I think uh, so that'll be fun. But yeah, that first episode will go up in uh, a little, a little over twenty minutes here, and uh, yesterday's podcast is up on YouTube right now. If you if you want to watch the video version of that, it's there for you. Of course, the audio version is where the audio versions live. I think um, I'm probably I'll probably throw it up on the Discord at some point. I um, I installed a, I, I'm trying a new podcast editing process, a, a a service called Descript, which transcribes your podcasts, and then you can edit the text to edit the podcast. And so there's a button in there that just says remove all filler language, like um and uh and all this other stuff. I might just hit that button and see what it sounds like because I bet it'll sound insane. Um, and uh, I'm curious to see how that how that actually sounds. Uh, you can also record a fake voice of yourself and uh, then insert your voice by typing the text. I have not jumped through the hoops on that. I, I'm still using the free version of the service, but I think I am going to upgrade to the paid version and see how that goes. It's fucking weird, but it's fascinating. So, uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm tinkering with that just to get used to the software and see if I actually like it. And, uh, as I mess with that, I might, I might just throw a weird audio file, a weird MP3 up on discord to kind of see, uh, how that all comes together. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I tend to like natural speech because I think that it, it, um, makes the thing sound more personal and more real and all of that sort of stuff. Put it on the feed. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll just throw it up on the Patreon feed. The, uh, yeah. So you, the, the, this episode of Game Boys to Men, if you're a $10 patron and up, you will get access to that. And, uh, it should just show up on your, your Patreon podcast feed the same way everything else does. If you have access to it, I, be I believe that's how that will go. So we'll find out together. 
and all that sort of stuff. And then the next episode of that, we're going to get into Sega and all that. And, um, oh, and, uh, you know, if you have questions after listening to it, I think we mentioned it in the show, but you know, if you post your questions as comments to the, to the episodes on Patreon and we'll, we'll take them next time and, and all that sort of stuff too. Uh, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, much like arcade paradise is a lot of fun. It's a cool ass game. That's a cool ass game. Um, I'm going to go. We'll be back on Friday. Head over to patreon.com slash Jeff Gerstman for more details there. And, uh, thanks everyone for watching and hanging out and all that good shit. And, uh, I'll see you Friday morning and maybe we'll, maybe we'll get to some of these other games. I don't know. Hey, I also got, I got Rumbleverse running on a Steam Deck. I posted some screenshots of that to the Discord last night. I guess, they, I think I posted them on, posted one on Twitter as well. But yeah, I, I, I managed to figure out how to make that work. There were no tutorials. I just kind of took a stab in the dark and got it, got it working. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm going to go. Everybody have a great rest of your day. I'll see you Friday for more of that stuff. Take care.